Let's have a closer look at the audio element and how to use its options. So with the help of this element, you can very easily insert a custom audio file into your pages or posts. And besides this, you can also insert music and other audio files from SoundCloud or Spotify just by using the URL. So let's jump into this video and see how to do that. Now I have my page ready right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open the right sidebar list of elements, look it up, and then drag and drop it right here. Now, first off, you will have to select a source. So in this drop-down list, you get these three types of sources you can use. We are gonna start with the first one, which is choosing a custom file. Now, my file is not uploaded yet. Let me just quickly select it. All right, so I have my file uploaded in the media library, and now I've just inserted the file into my page. So once I did that, this set of options became available. So from here, I can quickly change the audio if I want, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it as it is. And then if you open the advanced drop-down list, so this small section from here, you get three different options you can use. Naturally, the autoplay option means that the file will start playing as soon as someone lands on your page. Then the loop one means that the audio will play in a loop, so when it ends, it will just start over from the beginning. And lastly, you have the option of making the file downloadable. So keep in mind that even if you keep this option disabled here, your media could still be downloaded if a visitor finds the direct URL. All right, now let's jump to the next option. Well, actually to the next source available here, which is SoundCloud. So for the SoundCloud and Spotify options, I'm going to be needing the URL. So what you need to do is go over to SoundCloud in this particular example and copy the link that's located right underneath the audio file that you have chosen. Now we're going to paste it here and hit enter and the file has already loaded. Now once more you have this advanced set of options. So besides the autoplay one, you also have these two additional options you can use here. You can choose to hide the artwork that comes with the file or you can also hide the username if that's what you want. Okay, and lastly, we have Spotify. Here as well, you will have to have the URL of the file you would like to upload here. So you can get the URL by copying the song link, paste and hit enter, and that's pretty much it. For Spotify, you don't have an additional set of options. You just get the URL. And now let me quickly show you how this looks like on the front end if I save my work and exit the editor and just preview my page. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. As always, don't hesitate to check out our knowledge base and our other video tutorials.